since it's winter time around here and we don't have a great deal of bait around the uh, predators tend to chase after the shrimp shrimp aren't typically real large but uh, there's still plenty of shrimp out there for them to find they also like the redfish will key in on crabs tonight I'm going to work on a little a uh, shrimp fly that I was kind of toying with a little bit um, nothing particularly spectacular about it but it, it, a shrimp it does look like anyway we're going to start off with a 34011 size one hook long shank hook uh, we're going to use brown flymaster plus thread some 35 thousandths lead wire some mono eyes that I've made myself uh, one of these days I'll make a video on on uh, the way I do my eyes but basically I'm sure there's a few good YouTube videos out there that have a similar I'm using both beads and epoxy on mono stalks and uh, the two kinds of EP fibers that I'm going to use tonight are these uh, new EP tarantula brushes uh, uh, the one that I'm going to use is half inch size uh, and some EP fiber backcountry uh, just a regular 3D fiber anyway so I've threaded all the way back to the back of the hook I am going to reverse palmer this lead wire um, in other words coming back at me rather than away from me which is the way you usually palmer things um, it's just so I can uh, put some thread over it after I get done and as you can see I've got a fair number of turns there we want you know maybe a eighth of an inch gap at the back so Oop. okay kind of mash that in a little bit a couple more turns in the front leaving myself maybe a quarter of an inch in the front um, I'm going to throw some thread wraps over the top of this just so nothing gets trapped down inside of it kind of X both directions a little bit now this is going to ride uh, with the hook point up with all this lead on it especially so at this point we're going to kind of turn this over and I'm going to wrap like a quarter length of pretty sparse of this EP backcountry color I'm going to V it in right there just behind the lead bring it around the hook I'm going to tie it down just a couple of wraps to hold it in place this is going to be our shrimp horn I'm going to trim that back a little shorter next thing, oh, one other material I'm using some um, black olive um, uh, angel hair is what it is I'm going to wrap that around the hook this is our flashy bit I'm going to bring that on either side of the hook okay next is the EP tarantula brush this is a half inch size um, and this particular one is in sculpin color now got a wire 
on this. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the wire down and then trim it off. Take it right up to my tie-in point for the stuff. Always use gauge shears. Don't use your scissors to cut wire. And go ahead and tie that down tight. I'm going to move back about halfway. And I'm going to palmer my tarantula brush. Not too tight. It's one turn. And two turns. Now, I ha left enough gap in there to get about two turns of the tarantula brush between the the back of the hook and the lead wire. I'm just going to let that sit there for a minute. Kind of pull it down tight. And I'm going to bring in my monofilament eyes. Now, I want the eyes to ride up and slightly out from the hook. So I'm going to bring those in. Tie it down. See where it lies. Tie that right up to the where the lead ends in the back there. Okay, bring in my other eye on my side and hopefully match it. Okay, got a little long. Okay, I think I got those two buggers tied in. And I'm going to go ahead and trim off the excess. Again, it's probably a good idea to use this to uh, trim your mono as well. It's just not as tough, except I cut my thread. Tie in a little bit. And then come on back to the eye of the hook. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to bring in and start palmering my tarantula brush over the lead. Kind of help it along. Don't want it real tight together. Tightly spaced that is. And then I'm going to tie that off. And again, use my cutters. Pull that back. And go ahead and wrap it down. Now I'm going to go ahead and whip finish this, but we aren't quite to the point that we're done. We're going to throw a quick weed guard on this. But I need to trim the body on the shrimp itself before I continue. So the uh, weed guard won't be in the way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim this. flat on top. Kind of make it look like the carapace of the shrimp. But I'm going to leave it good and buggy 
on the sides and the bottom. Okay. Now, my weed guard is 16 pound mason. Good stiff monofilament. I'm going to cut myself about two inches. Take the two ends. Bring it together so there's a loop in the bottom. And I'm going to pinch that flat. Okay. I'm going to put a couple of thread wraps, get my thread restarted. I'm going to wrap, wrap it underneath the hook. And I am coming in at a kind of a 45 degree angle and tying that down to the hook and then I am back filling at a reverse 45 trying to get that mono weed guard to sit up that's looking pretty good And I'm going to go ahead and whip finish. I'm going to cut the monofilament. Since the gap is so big, I'd like to cut it a little higher than the hook point. A little higher than you would on the shorter shank hook. And then, last step. is a little bit of brush on crazy glue just to make sure that that mono stays where I want it to. Okay. There's my little shrimp. Not much to it. Doesn't take very long to tie. Don't really have a name for it. Reminds me a bit of a manish shrimp. More so than a, your typical brown shrimp. But pretty easy to do. And I'll bet it's deadly effective. Thanks.